Welcome to Landry Inc. on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. All right, just got off my um, spin bike. Woo-wee, that was a workout. Uh, so I'm still sweaty and everything, but uh, this is part two of the whole uh, series. Actually, I'm going to do quite a few of these, but this is the second one to one I just did about sounds and frequencies and how everything is an energy and a frequency. It's a, everything's a frequency, okay? So when you connect to higher frequencies, you are raising your own and connecting to all possibilities on the higher level, right? The wonderful things, the abundance, the prosperity, not the, um, oh, you know, the nasty lessons and all the other garbage that goes along with that. So um, I want to talk to you today about how we connect to the highest um, manifesting power. And I want you to open up your mind for me just for a moment. Now, some of you will know this and others will start go, bing, okay, that makes sense. Or others will say, no, 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 no. So you know everything's one thing. Everything's one energy just expressing itself in separate ways. But it's just like, you know, this is doing this and this is it's still my body, right? You and I are part of the one expressing itself as, as one. We're just one. Um, but you're experiencing this, seemingly experiencing it as a human being, which is not really, it's not true in the whole quantum physics uh, way of, of operating or thinking. Okay, but that's here nor there. All you know is you're a human being experiencing things. So I want you to think about this. We separate everything as ways to manifest what we want. When we do that, we don't understand that we're still in that limiting, blocking kind of thinking, feeling, belief system. So let me give you an example. People have heard of out-of-body experiences and they're afraid of it, or maybe they've experienced it and freaked out, um, or maybe they're afraid to do it because they think something bad's gonna happen. All right, then there's meditation. Some people struggle to meditate and others just love to meditate, meditate, meditate. And that is another form of, of course, clearing out the mind. Then we have, uh, you know, binaural beats and other frequencies. As I shared with you, I listened to the, the Musical Body by David Eisen. It's, I've had this quite a while, so um, I'm sure they probably still have it. I think it's Hay House. Uh, that has musical tones for every chakra. So let's say you want to work on your heart chakra or your solar plexus or, you know, you know, whatever, seventh chakra. You would listen to that CD and it would just, it resonates on a frequency. All of these things are the same thing. So I did one about just sounds and, and frequencies of thought in that. But I want you to understand all of these things are equally gateways to manifesting what you want. Out of body is not different than meditating, is not different than listening to the sounds. All of them are just different methods of the exact same space. So people are afraid to do out of body and they're going to the same realms that meditation takes you. When you go into those realms and the more you do it, I, do, I have an energy. Um, meditation. You can actually do my energy meditation and connect to ener the energy. I have you push out and act. It's not that you're connecting to it. You're aware of it. So you're, you're pushing your energy out and you're accessing all of the probabilities out there. So you're like really starting to connect to it. And you may feel disconnected to your body because you are connecting to the cosmos. And that's where everything happens. You stop thinking. You're so entra um, uh, oh, what's entranced with, with this experience of feeling that energy and the power of it. You're not thinking about the body and the little me and blah, 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 you know, the crap that we do. So all of this is the same thing. We're accessing the same thing. It's not like, well, out of body is something different and meditation is something different and, and binaural beats is something different. No, it, these are all just doors to that same space. 
Don't separate all these things. Every single thing that you do that takes you onto a higher frequency is going into the same space that you are already in, but you're accessing it in this human format so that you can bring it into this physical world. So you're already over there, by the way, because we're one thing. So it's not like, okay, for one thing, I'm one thing. No, you are the one thing. You are the stuff over, you know, on the other side. The only reason we call the other side is because we can't see it. So we think it's like some unknown thing because, you know, it's, you know, beyond our human comprehension. Everything you do is connecting to the realms of all probabilities. So when you separate these things as, well, this is works and that doesn't, they all work. They're all just different doorways to the massive probabilities, endless, limitless probabilities. Do you understand it's limitless? Of course it's limitless. Oh no, God, you know, he can make, you know, trillions of, of universes, but that's it. There's no limit to anything. There's no time. There's no nothing. There's no, it's just open the mind up and then realize when you leave the fear which is my channel is about how do we leave the fear because it's the thing that's stopping us from trying the out of body because you can create nasty stuff you can create ghosts you can create all this because if you believe in it and you're wait you know, trust me you can that's manifesting you're bringing stuff in or you're opening the door for stuff that'll come in that is not by the way harmful nothing has any power over you when you realize that you're gonna go damn what am i afraid of it's just like you know Nothing can harm you. It appears to in this physical world, but it doesn't really. You just, you know, your energy transforms. You're doing that anyways. Every moment, your body's transforming into something different. You know, all the cells are changing constantly. So, understand that those are not all separate. Those aren't like separate things. They're all, all going into the space to the point where this is where your psychic abilities lie. When you, the more you go into those spaces, the meditation, the, uh, you know, the binaural beats, the out of body, you will actually start to experience it here in your body in the wakened state. You will actually be able to talk to people and be in situations where you will actually experience psychic abilities. I'm starting to get them again. I, they, I haven't had too many. Um, I've had a lot of stuff about myself, but and visitations and things like that. But I haven't had any um, uh, for you know, uh, future predictions. I've had I've seen quite a few things, but I had one the night before, a weird one about a truck that uh, hijacked and completely pulled apart. And darn if I didn't. Uh, I was putting on um, uh, a program, and darn if I didn't catch, you know, they do those short clips, News at 11, uh, truck hijacks and completely splits in half, pulls apart exactly how I saw it the night before, and I went, okay, because she's saying, well, like, why do you see certain things? You're probably picking up on what's going on out there. It hijacked. Maybe it, ha maybe, uh, it hijacked when I was envisioning it. So, or I saw it before it happened. Time doesn't matter. So you'll actually start to pick up on stuff that's happening out there. So you may have visions that make no sense at all. And, and if you don't see the news or whatever, you may not know that you actually saw an event that was happening in the block next to you. You're going to go into those realms. You're going to know things. Don't be afraid of that. So all of these things that you go into that push your uh, energy, connect your energy, make you aware of your energy, actually allows you to see future events, potential future events. Everything's changeable. Everything. Uh, you know, you can pick up on uh, other, other people uh, that are also in that realm who are going to communicate with you. Uh, people that will, you know, uh, share their um, uh, maybe some teachings with you, you know, some of your, the masters, the higher frequencies that of which you're connecting to, you're starting to go in that frequency there, maybe share some things that, you know, your opportunities will show up. This is, you've got to push that energy out and connect to it 
mentally and be aware of it to start to bring that in. So the all these other vehicles are just the same damn thing, but you just have to, of course, you gotta find what you love, right? If you love meditation and out of body still scares you, well, you gotta get rid of those fears because all of that space out there, there's nothing to fear. You can create whatever story you want. Oh my God, a dog just went running by like a bat out of hell. You can create whatever story you want and it'll be real. That's what manifesting is. We focus on something that hasn't happened yet that we want to, to bring in our reality, right? A fear is that. If you're focusing on what you don't want that you're afraid might happen, you bring it in your reality. There's no difference. Everything's all the same thing. Manifesting's simple. It's really simple. It's one realm of which we are, what we focus on, appears in this physical world because this is, happens to be what we're, you know, what we're doing at the moment. This is powerful stuff. So when you start to go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I, I really can do all this. I really am. All those dreams, all those times I thought I was someplace else, that time when I was with somebody, I just knew something. Start to tune into that and it will expand and then you'll tune into something that you, you envision. I've, I've envisioned some stuff in my work that is just showing up like crazy because I know it, I know I can do it, my intentions are good, uh, I'm not hung up on it, I don't have any expectations of it, I'm showing up. Why? Because there's a natural connection between me and that thing and I've let go of it and I know it's going to show up when it's supposed to and I hope that what I'm focused on is always going to be good things for myself and others. You know, I want to enjoy this world. So always focus on the things that you know will be positive. And it's not a new car. Is, is it a new car that's going to get you to a job or, you know, you just, it would be really nice to have a new car. There's nothing wrong with that. But remember that your focus, your focus really determines your frequency and what you're connecting to. And if it's just want, want, want material stuff, it's going to make me happy and worrying and stuff. You're manifesting that. The lack, the worry. So go out in that space. Don't be afraid of it. Drop that fear. Yeah, no, it's tough. When it shows up, go, story. It's a story. Who, who made that story up? You did or somebody told you and you're believing it. So... The dreams, even even the dark shadows, all those things that show up, pfft, have no power over you, and you can get rid of it anytime you want to, by the way. And by the way, that realm has every possible expression, so if there is something out there that's an expression you don't want to be around, then don't hang out with it. You know, don't focus on it. Put your focus to something else, and that's where you'll go. That's what you'll be in. That is exactly the power you wield. You get to choose free will. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Go manifest, expand, enjoy, raise the frequency of the planet, yourself, the one of which we are, and we're going to go back to. Namaste.